The Separation of Money and Politics Aside from establishing perhaps our most fundamental right, the freedom of speech, the First Amendment also instituted a groundbreaking principle vital to its time, the separation of church and state. At the time, European politics was defined by religious control and conflict. What we are experiencing today is analogous, but the inseparable force we are contending with is money. It's a vicious feedback loop. Those with money have an unreasonably disproportionate level of influence on lawmaking, and the laws that are passed then help those same individuals amass even more money that they then use to further influence politics. And round and round we go. That's why the separation of money and politics is our very first proposal in Amendment 1 of the Reconstitution, which is our proposed 28th Amendment to the existing U.S. Constitution. In 2002, a bipartisan bill was somewhat successful in reducing the influence of money on politics. But in 2010, the Supreme Court said that bill was unconstitutional because corporations speak with their money? This decision is universally despised by the American people, and yet nothing has been done because it's so difficult to pass a constitutional amendment to override that Supreme Court decision. That's why we're proposing a constitutional amendment that does just that. But rather than wording our amendment in a negative way that antagonizes corporations and money, we bolster democracy and reinforce the principles of representation that have been hijacked by money. Our proposal says that only people eligible to vote for a candidate can donate to that candidate, period. This not only gets corporate money out of politics, but also significantly reduces the money in politics entirely by ending a different kind of foreign election meddling. People outside of a district can't donate to the candidates in that local district. There is more to our proposal than this, but this is the centerpiece. What do you think? Comment below or join us for our second constitutional conversation on Thursday, July 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, where we'll discuss this more broadly to integrate your feedback as we continue to revise and refine the language of the Reconstitution. Join the conversation. See you there.